all right you guys so we are back with another video and i know it has definitely been a long time since i made a cash stuffing video since like last year so this is going to be a start of the new year of uh, january 2023 i'm starting a whole new cash stuffing system i have some challenges that i'm going to get into to show you guys if you do hear some squeaking it's my dog he's uh, in my office with me so yeah we're going to go ahead and get into some cash stuffing Today we are cash stuffing $350, so I'm super excited to start that. Right over here is my Seeking Fun Breakdown. I have a Stack It Up Challenge. This is where I keep the money for that. My cute little calculator, my Starbucks cup, my high priority binder, and my low priority binder. For anybody who is new to the channel, like I said, we are starting off our year with this cash stuffing if you have not heard of the Fetch Reward app, you should definitely check it out. You can scan your receipts to just about any place. It does give you a minimum of 25 points, so you can definitely check that out. I do have a code that'll be in the description box below so you guys can check that out. And I'm super excited to get into this cash stuffing. I do do my cash stuffings a little different than most people. I do not cash stuff my gas and my groceries and things like that. That does auto draft out of my bank account as well as my bills. So like my electric, my internet, things like that. That does come out of my debit card. I do not stuff those. Um, I know some people are all cash budgeters. I'm not an all cash budgeter. I'm cash budgeter when it comes to stuffing and challenges but when it comes to everything else i keep everything in my debit card so that way all my bills can get paid like that so let's go ahead and jump right into the video like i said we are doing 350 dollars over here i always start off with my high priority binder all right so let's go ahead and jump into the high priority binder i know some of these are going to look a little different because i have supported some different people who come out with these so these are going to look a little bit different than some of the other ones in here but it's all the same. We're all getting the same place. So the month ahead over here is going to be um, where I am putting the money as well as the amount. And the first one we are going to jump into is month ahead, which gets 10. Now, some of these will get a little more than normal because I don't have the exact denominations over here. And I got to make sure that I have everything that goes everywhere. So yeah, so a month ahead is going to start off with $10. Now, because I am starting a new month, um, or a new year, I should say. But because I am starting brand new, there's not gonna be any money in here as well as there's not gonna be any money here. And I will go ahead and mark these down at the end of the video. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through the whole video and watch me mark these down. So month ahead is getting $10. Um, now month ahead for anybody who doesn't understand what month ahead means month ahead just basically means if there is a reason why I am going to need, you know, some extra bill money for next month. That is what month ahead is for car maintenance. I mean, that is kind of self-explanatory when there's something that you need for your car. It's right there. So car maintenance gets $10. Like I said, a couple of these are going to look a little different because I've supported different channels. My savings is going to get five. Now, I believe my savings is one that gets 10 this time around because, like I said, I didn't have the correct denominations because I got my money from the ATM and then I had to switch it out with some other money. So savings normally would get five, but today it's going to get 10. Emergency fund is going to be getting 10. Like I said, I do need new ones of these. A lot of the zippers have came off because I've used them so much. So I do need new ones. Uh, the debt, like I said, I am starting to pay off my debt. So this is going to be getting 10. I'm super excited to start that journey because I have not yet. So I'm super excited, super excited to start my debt journey. My utilities gets 50. I do give my utilities a little bit more because um, I want to be able to just in case pay off utilities a month ahead if for some reason I need to. I know in the beginning of the video I said I don't stuff my utilities because I technically don't. This is going to be my month ahead utilities. And then house gets five. Sorry, like I said, some of these I need new ones. So my house gets five. I need to get a new one of these. That's what I need to get. Cause like I've had this for quite some time. And as you guys can see. All right, so house gets five. All right, and that is going to be it for the high priority. 
And now I do say that my house gets five. Now house getting five does not mean my rent. House getting five means when I do decide to get a house with my husband and my kids for the future, I have money put away for that purpose. All right, so here we are starting off with our low priorities. So I have daycare. Um, where I take my kids to daycare, they do have an annual summer fee as well as an annual yearly fee that I have to pay. So I always start with putting money in there so that way I can keep up with that. So that's daycare. Pets, like I said um, in my previous videos, if you have not watched, I do have a pet. His name is Prince and he does go to the groomers and things like that. So Prince is going to be getting, I believe, 10 because like I said, I did not get the correct denominations for those. So Pet is going to get 10. So family time is going to get 10. Normally it would get five. Family time is basically if I take my kids places like Chuck E. Cheese or we go out to eat or things like that that have to do with family time, they do, um, that does come in handy. Vacation. Let's see. So vacation is only going to get five due to the fact that um, I am putting some money away for a vacation in my uh, savings challenge. So you guys will be able to see that. So vacay is getting only five, which vacay would normally only get five. And B-Day gifts. Now, my kids' birthdays are in March and April. I have four boys, if you didn't know, 12, 8, four and two and my uh, kids' birthdays are all in March and April. So that's actually coming up. So B-Day Gifts gets 10. And boy savings. Now my kids do have savings accounts and once all this gets filled up, I do put it in my boys' savings accounts and then that adds up quickly. But for right now, we are stuffing $10. All right, and this one is a new one. I have not labeled it nor started it. Uh, this one's a new one for this year. If you guys don't know, I did get married on February 22nd of 22, so 2-22-22 of last year, clearly. So uh, we are working on a baby, so that's exciting. But we are, um, you know, obviously when the time is right and when it comes, it comes. When it happens, it happens. So I am trying to get prepared for that when it does happen. And so that's why we added a new folder for the baby. So I am going to put 10. Normally, baby would get 5 but like I said I don't have the correct denomination so yeah excuse me for that so baby is gonna get 10 this time around again I gotta put baby on there because it is a new one all right so that is it for my high priority as well as my low priority so let's go ahead and get into that binder so I'm gonna go ahead and set these off I hope my camera's not shaking too bad I have it set up a little differently. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. I did go ahead and grab some different color pins. I don't have a little setup for my pins quite yet um, because this is a new table that I am using. So, but I got some different colors. I got a red, a blue, a pink, and a purple pin. So I'm super excited to use those. Um, now in this binder, you will see some money in there because I did start um this one a little bit at the beginning of january so i, got, I actually got paid december 30th so i kind of put some money in here already just to start this out so you'll see a little bit of money in here already as well as some things already scratched off in here so just don't mind that so we're going to go ahead and open this so we're going to start off with vacation so like i said i do have this new savings challenge it is by i am her stationary check her out i will have everything in the link uh, description below so we're going to go ahead i'm going to go ahead and get i'm going to flip to what page it is in here so that way you guys don't see everything that's in here because there are some real good gems in here that you i want you guys to check out so i'm going to go ahead and flip to the vacation part that i'm going to turn to and i'll be right back this challenge is called I'm going to Disney World 1400 possibly and that is the challenge for that so it's 25 50 and 100 like I said I did start this already so there is 100 already in there so I'm going to go ahead and put 50 in there for right now So 
so far we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 150. So we have 150 in there so far. All right, and like I said, I'm not gonna fill this out on camera. I will hold off on that. Christmas, I don't have anything in the savings challenge for Christmas, but we are going to go ahead and always stuff $20 in our Christmas. And uh, I do have it up here of Christmas, $20. So always, we're going to always stuff $20. So we have $40. Like I said, I need to get new ones of these. Mine are like ugh, trash now. All right, and then bills. Now, again, I don't stuff any bills. This is just like a month ahead type thing. So that is technically what this is. It's just a month ahead type thing, and that's going to get $20. I feel like it's always good to stuff things that are going to get you ahead in life just in case for emergency purposes. So that has $40. you are going to see a lot of that in my books. All right, birthday as well. Um, I do stuff a lot of, I think I just closed this. Huh? I do stuff a lot of birthday stuff like all the time. Like I said, I do have four kids. So to me, I can never get enough of stuffing birthdays for anything. I have four kids plus a husband plus my mom. And then, yeah. So this one has 20. It's a lot of birthdays around here. December birthdays, March birthdays, April birthdays. It's just a lot. So emergency is going to receive 20 as well. Again, you never want to go short on an emergency. If for some reason something happens, I always have money for that. So that's going to get 10 every time. And if I happen to forget something or forgot to mention something, I do apologize again. This is my first video of 2023. So I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things for this. All right, so this one's actually going to be inside the savings challenge book. This is goal of the objective is to get $75. And we are actually going to be put in a, I do believe it's 10 on this one. So we're actually going to be doing a $10. So I'm going to go ahead and use a purple for that. And like I said, I'm not going to like do it perfect only because I don't want to sit here all day. But yeah, so 10 for that one, which will go inside here. Now, this one does say miscellaneous, but like I said, I need to get new ones of these. So yeah. All right. So, so far we have 10, 20, 25. If you guys know any places I should get new ones of these, comment below. I would definitely love to hear where you guys get them. All right, so Hustle is five on it. All right, so this is going to be the five on it challenge. I got five on it, and at the end, it should be $700. So we got five here. I'm going to go ahead and mark that off with red again. And I'm not going to do it perfect. So we got that. All right. Now, with this stack it up challenge, I did also get the savings challenge stash. So these are a couple different savings challenges that I don't have the sheets, the like little sheets or whatever these are called for. This one's called the Lucky 77, 1,000, uh, 1,001 in six months. So this one is kind of broken down month to month with week one, week two, week three, week four. And I figured this would actually work out perfect because I am a weekly paid um, person. So this one actually kind of works out for me because normally I get four checks in a month. Because of the fact that 77 is kind of like an off number to me, I went ahead and did just 80 because that's just an even number and it makes it easier. I don't have to get dollar bills or fives or anything like that. So I went ahead and just did 80 and 80. So we're going to go ahead and put that in here. All right, so, so far we have 20, 40, 60, and 80 in there. 
All right, and then our last one is just for the month of January. This is strictly the month of January. So I'm gonna go ahead and find that challenge in our book. And this is the January savings challenge. This is gonna get you $150. Like I said, I've already started, so I got 30. And the next one we are going to be doing is 20. So I'm gonna go ahead and scratch off, or not scratch off, color in our 20. All right, so we got our 20 done. All right, and then there we have 20, 30. So 20, 40, 50. And that does wrap it up with that. So that is our savings challenges as well as our high priority binder and our low priority binder. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button and the bell button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will be definitely doing one of these every single week. So I'm excited to start that journey with you guys as well as I do put out other content. So go ahead and check that out. If you have not already went over to my TikTok, go check out my TikTok videos. I love doing TikTok videos. I kind of do TikTok videos more than I do YouTube videos. So go ahead and check that out. And please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell button so that way you don't miss out on any future cash stuffing videos. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys return. Bye.